Now, when Prince Charles was here fairly recently, well, a while ago, anyway, he blended his own rum. I think it was at the Bundaberg factory. I presume it was. Good old Bundy. Anyway, it reminded me of the time that he was a pupil. Now, I am showing my age here, and none of you will ever even remember this, but he was a pupil at Geelong Grammar, or is it Timber Tops that Geelong Grammar had? I think it might be. Anyway, he was a pupil there, and on his way on a, on a fun run for the school, he popped into the pub and had a creme de month. The papers were full of it. Apart from the fact that he was underage, I don't think we liked his, his um, choice of drinks very much. Anyway, he's obviously improved because now he's blending lovely drinks <laughs> like, like rum. So I've dedicated this sauce to him, but I'm actually not using Bundy. I am using Bundy ginger beer for something, but I'm not using it for the sauce. Don't know why, I don't know what happened there. 100 grams of butter, quarter of a cup of rum, half a cup of brown sugar, and also just a little pinch of nutmeg, a little pinch of cinnamon, and a little pinch of allspice. And then we just heat that, and what we do is we cook that for about 10 minutes. It'll actually change color and we keep it warm and then we come back and what we're gonna do is barbecue some pineapple, some fresh pineapple, you know, which goes to me very well with rum. And then I've got a very tricky little drink to go with it, which I know you will love. Prince Charles would have loved it. Hasn't got any creme de menthe in it, trust me. I should have done a grasshopper for him, shouldn't I? <laughs> well, I haven't. Anyway, 10 minutes, cook it gently, keep it warm. Right, well, we're looking good. So I've just barbecued this pineapple. I've left it dry. When I say dry, I didn't put any oil on the grill. And the reason being is I wanted to get lovely barbecue flavor through it. And by not oiling it, you'll just end up with the pineapple caramelizing. Doesn't that look good? So you've caramelized the natural juices in that pineapple. And I've got my top fee sauce, or actually my rum butter sauce. Just have a look there. I won't put that on quite yet because I've got a drink to make. So I'll make the drink first, but I will put some of this lovely thickened cream alongside. Of course you could use ice cream, but I, I really like this thickened cream with it. Now, to go with this, I'm making a dark and stormy. Now we all know what a dark and stormy is, but it'll go beautifully with this pineapple. And a dark and stormy is basically very good rum and ginger beer. So 60 mils of rum, grab a lime, squeeze that in and put the whole thing in there. And then we get, I told you I've got some Bundy and top it up with that. Looking good. And we've got our rum butter. Left over on the side or you can keep it because I'll tell you what, it goes absolutely beautifully with ice cream. All right, dark and stormy, barbecue pineapple, double cream. Oh goodness, Charlie's rum butter. Good idea, Charlie. 